So do passwords have a future? The easy answer is absolutely not. In fact, they should have been dead 10 years ago. Uh, I think it was Bill Gates who famously said at an RSA conference you know, almost 20 years ago that passwords should be dead you know, very shortly. And here we are today, and that's still one of the predominant means of authentication. Why are they so insecure? Fundamentally, a password is a shared secret. It has to be known by the person using it, and it has to be known by the party, the other party, which means two things. It traverses a network, and it sits in a database. In both scenarios, the password can be stolen by the adversaries and then reused to log in, and that's frequently what is happening. It's been in the last two years that we've seen a lot of progress with efforts like the FIDO uh, standard, efforts like Beyond Identity to eliminate passwords, and all these things are based on standards that don't require any sort of shared secret to verse the network. Most of them are based on things like a cryptographic public-private key scenario that is much, much stronger uh, than uh, the traditional password. Why does the recommendation of just having a longer, stronger password not sufficient? And it's, and it's pretty simple. That recommendation was always based on the fact that passwords in a database are often encrypted. And it's easier to break a very short password, it's easier to unencrypt a very short password using computing power than it is a very long password. But what's the, the problem with that is that's not how passwords are stolen. Passwords are stolen when they're transitioning over the network, or passwords are incorrectly typed into a fake phishing site. So, the, or passwords are stolen by malware or installed on the computer. Malware doesn't care if your password's four characters or 4,000 characters. It's more than happy to steal it and give it to the bad guy. So now we've got massive databases of passwords of all kinds of lengths that the bad guys sell to each other and just reuse. So longer, stronger passwords are not a solution. The very short answer to that question is MFA uses multiple weak factors. All the current MFA on the market uh, uses, starts with a password, which is a totally compromised means of authentication. That's why MFA came around in the first place. Unfortunately, many of the factors that were added, things like magic links or one-time codes over SMS or email or even push notifications, were pretty good when they first came out, but now they're very easily compromised by attackers. So, so much that the U.S. government has mandated that government systems don't use any of the existing MFA that uses weak, fishable factors. So, it's sort of like, current MFA is sort of like having one screen door, a password, in front of another screen door. You know, it doesn't offer much protection, you know, on the entrance of, of your home. So, you know, people really need to think about not just should I use MFA, that's a good recommendation. Can I use MFA that's not fishable, that's secure? There's two really important main components of that. First of all, Beyond Identity's solution uses no fishable factors. There is no password in the equation at all. It doesn't start with or rely on a password at all. And the second, you know, so we use a biometric on modern devices as one of the factors that shows that you possess the device. The second factor is a cryptographic exchange. So we, we use something called PKI and X509 certificates. We use a public-private key, and the key is securely stored only on the endpoint device. It never transitions the network, so it can't be fished. All we have to send is an X509 certificate, which doesn't have any information that an attacker can use. That's one differentiation. And that lets us build high trust in understanding that the user, that we've authenticated the user. But we also need to authenticate the device. So our solution not only authenticates a user, it checks whether the user is lo logging in from a valid device and whether that device is secure enough at the time of login. So we were super excited to win the Stevie Award. Uh, recently. It's such a prestigious award in Germany and really says a lot about the technology that our teams created and the innovation that we brought to the market with our modern invisible and passwordless MFA. So we were delighted to win in the best new technology category for the innovation that, the, that our engineering team has brought forward and we're super excited about that.